Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of Ask Brick. Last week here on the show, I asked you if you could make any Lego mock with unlimited pieces, what would it be? Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. I got so many comments this week, and I know I say that every week, but this week I got 52 comments, so this is actually more than any other Ask Brick episode ever, so that's very exciting, and to sort of celebrate that I got this many comments, I'm going to read every single comment. Danny wants to build a huge, life-size castle with self-shooting cannons. k Kid wants to make a gigantic, life-size, fully custom Lego city. Bricks Are The Best wants to make a Star Wars layout tackle Dana or something like that. Valued Bricks wants to recreate a building you get in the city series like the pizza place or the police station and turn it into a modular building. Michael Lee wants to build a life-size Lego store. Wow, I bet that would be expensive. Kevin F says, awesome question, I am already building my dream mock. If you haven't checked out his Empire State Building, you probably should. Spinditu1234 wants to build the Harry Potter universe. Michael Hagerman wants to build the CN Tower or the Parliament Building, which is very cool because he's Canadian as well. Marles wants to build a huge Minecraft world or the world out of Lego. That's a lot of pieces. Ozzy Bricks wants to build, well, he's planning to build a police station, an Alter Agents Tower, Sig Fig Tower, Daily Bugle, Self Defense School, and he'd love to do a minifigure scale Sydney Opera House. But space is a massive problem. I agree, that's what a lot of people find with their mocks. Space is a huge problem. Whoops. Brendan Wong would make a school for all the children minifigures in his city. Michael Peterson would like a life-sized helicarrier. That would be cool. Aaron Seed wants to build the biggest Lego Batcave ever made. Josh wants to build several different mocks. Mostly wants to build his local coffee shop and a Sig Fig Riverfront apartment, which would look have a lot of textures. Look up in Google. Marketplace Riverfront Apartment. Okay, you can look that up. 3FM2 wants to build a Lego City. Lego Zan wants to build a giant Lego Minecraft world. Destination Bricks wants to build a modular building. Modular buildings are fun. Maniac Turkey wants to build the final battle from Captain America Winter Soldier. Brickin' It Up wants to build a real life livable house. And I think that's been done before, hasn't it? In um, Europe, I think they actually made a house. I don't know if it was real, you know, livable because I don't know how the structure is made. But I think they did that. I'm going to look that up. That's a good good answer though, breaking it up. Ocean Brick Fire Department wants to build all of FDNY's fleet, which a lot would be awesome. Master Lego Tech would build a replica of the Earth and the whole galaxy. X Gameplay Box Games would like to build a two-floor home with a garage. Pilot Studios Channel would build a giant Lego apartment building. Lego World 2 wants to build the Eiffel Tower. J Dub Weather. 1188 would build the Daytona International Speedway. Brick Mockton 1 would build a very large battlefield. Lego and Pokemon guys. Oh, just said thank you very much. I don't know what that means. The Brick Eye, a giant city with everything custom. Q Bricks, a life size skyscraper. Disney Freak 309, Disneyland or Disney World. That would be cool. Zika Gaming wants to make a life size car. He already made one, but better. The Brick Brothers, a minifigure scale Death Star. I thought the Death Star was minifigure scale. I guess maybe not. I don't know. Beefy Nacho, Nachos, Stoss, a huge cruise boat. Pilot Studios Channel, if you were... Oh, I like that question. I'm going to actually save that. All About Brick says the Dragon Alley. Bricks for Max, I would probably build a large school that can teach 1,000 minifigures. Simon117 would make a Lego City, and he always wanted to make his own Lego City. Joshua, a parking lot. Mr. Brick25 said the space. Jurassic Brick Productions, a high school with classrooms and a canteen and playground would be awesome. Yes, it would be. Connor229, the, big, the biggest Lego City ever. Sean's Brick Lab, a life-size model of my room so I can have two Lego rooms. Epic Blue Gamer, a gigantic life-size Lego city. CJ Wasabi would build a Nitro Circus mock because that would be really cool, I think. Okay, I don't know what Nitro Circus is. Kitty Girl would build a gigantic statue of the Lego store, NYC, or flying boat held up by columns. Brick Mayhem would build a World War II Lego mock. Epic Blue Gamer would build the same thing as K-Fall Kid. 
And finally, the very last comment is Lego and more. Lego and more. Just said awesome. Thanks everybody so much for all your comments on this episode. I really appreciate everybody's support. This week's question is actually suggested by Bricks of Pi. Is the Lego community out of ideas or is Lego picky? And he specifically referenced in his comment when the new Lego ideas results were released and there were actually no new Lego sets that were going to be coming out from original mock creations. So that's why he's asking, is the community out of good ideas? Or is Lego just being too picky? Let me know down below what you think. If you think that everybody's out of mock ideas for Lego ideas. Or if Lego, the Lego group's just being way too picky with what they want to be official sets. Thanks everybody so much for leaving your comments down below. And I hope you can support this episode just as much as last week's episode. Have a great day.